Hi Gem, so I am finally doing the what is going to be in my pregnancy bag that I'm taking to the hospital. So this is the bag I have right here. It's like this red patent leather bag and it has very cool compartments and it's pretty deep in there. So I'll be carrying this guy to the hospital so it's going to have enough stuff for me, Nugget, and I guess Kevin if he needs anything <laughs> so we will start with the basics so we have to have our toiletries of course and of course girls a little bit of makeup you don't want to look like death like on a bed you know what i'm saying i have the matching um toiletry case in here so as a flap so in here will be like my toothbrush lotions and of course the homemade shea butter with oils and all natural stuff because you will still be needing that a thousand percent then we will also have our makeup bag here with you know just the basics some mascara some eyeliner and a little bit of powder and concealer so you still look all right around people you know what i'm saying you don't have to do this but i'm gonna try hopefully i can actually do it because if not then Depending on what you're going to do with your hair, well, we have to have, well, I think it's best to have, like, at least like, some type of headband to, like, pull your hair back and some elastic bands for your man, a.k.a. Kev, to pull your hair back when it's, like, you know, all destroyed or you're looking like a hot mess, like a real mom. We'll probably need some stuff to kind of pull your hair back and look a little bit more presentable. I don't even know what to do with my hair, gosh, so, but... These people definitely need in the bag. So one of the next important things, as much as, you know, you want to kind of sort of feel like home in the hospital, and you kind of still won't, depending how long you're going to be in there, but we're just aiming for one day. So it'd be nice to kind of bring a home pillow, probably not with your actual like, good pillowcase like I have on, probably like just another one that you don't really care about. So obviously you could just wash it in, you know. You don't want to come in there with your good, good things in the hospital, you know what I'm saying? So you can have a little pillow for your back or a blanket. I might just do the pillow only because I'm not a pillow person, but I know the flat pillows at the hospital probably won't be the best just for my back or my neck. My neck. My back. And yeah. Okay. Along with the pillows, you are going to need a pajama set. So you can either do like one long sleep dress or like a two-piece Personally, I think I might do a two-piece because hospitals are hella cold. So I have these little reindeer ones. I don't know if I might actually bring these, but they're so cute. Look. So it's like a pants and like a button-down shirt. So that'll be easy to, you know, breastfeed or, you know, maneuver around. So I'll probably use that with probably just a plain white tank top underneath. But most importantly, that's going to go with that is you need non-skid like fluffy socks to walk around in the hospital room in the hallways while you're you know preparing for labor and even afterwards so you know they say to kind of have one that you kind of don't care about in case they get ruined and you just throw them out so i have these here these purple ones and they have the skid bottoms like the little stickies there so these will keep my feet warm i can have them during labor while i'm up pushing out nugget so i'll have these on for sure and i also will have my regular slippers to kind of walk around in for extra warmth and comfort so you're not just on the hard ground these are just my non-expensive little booty slippers because of course you don't want to bring like your very nice ones from home so you just want to have some that can kind of kick around in case it gets stained on or ripped somehow you can just throw them away and you won't feel <laughs> any ways about them so along with all of that it's really good to have a robe a big fluffy comfortable one that kevin doesn't like but I like so I'm probably gonna bring this one because I can of course wash it but should it ever get ruined I guess I'll depart from my little cashmere and get a new one aka he can get me a new one so I'll bring this one because it's long enough and it's not too thick and it's not too thin and it'll go perfectly fine with my slippers because it kind of has a kind of beigey creamy tone so yeah that's good to have for sure, ladies. So you need to have a robe. Along with things to have from home, I suggest bringing your own towel and rag just because, you know, you know what's clean for one and it's your own personal one and you won't forget it, of course. Um, so it's just best to kind of have that just because the hospital ones may be a little bit thin and these, you know, it's just more personal. Like you want to feel as much as home as possible and not feel like you're in like a truly cold hospital just you know there for this situation so you know 
this is definitely a good idea. Along with that, because in my birth, I want to go in the little jacuzzi tub to ease the pain because I'm trying to do it all natural. I am packing a bathing suit. You don't have to because I've seen some who just kind of wear the hospital gown or just like a big t-shirt or they just go in naked. But I think I might feel a little bit more comfortable in a bathing suit or have one to stare at my naked body. You know, in terms of like the midwives and if there's a nurse who comes in and out of the room, like that's just awkward. So I'll just have my bathing suit just in case, probably with the hospital gown on top. Um, so yeah, bathing suit is recommended. All in between that, um, what I don't have in the bag, but which I will have are some snacks. We have to have, you don't have to, but I was recommend from what I've seen and heard. It's best to have, you know, stuff that you like because in the hospital, they'll feed you like three times a day, but it's like hospital basic food and you may not may or, you may or may not have an appetite. So for me, I want to pack like popsicles that I like because they're only going to let you have, um, you know, like ice chips and stuff like that. And they're little hospital popsicle sticks. So it's kind of good to kind of have your own and have it at home. So anyone who's coming to visit you or your boyfriend or husband or whichever can bring it as well. So I would say that and I'll probably pack, you know, like stuff that I like, you know, like maybe like some biscuits, cookies, um, maybe a sandwich or something like that. And then when you want real food and you know what you want, then someone can go out and get that for you as well. So that, some water, juice box. So just things that you know that you can pick on or even like a mixed nuts um, so something sweet, maybe a little bit of candy, something basic like that. So that for sure will be in my bag. The next most important thing that you will definitely need during this whole process are some underwears. So underwears that you somewhat care about just in case in the sense of if they get damaged or ruined because afterwards you'll be right back to where you started. You know what I'm saying? Talking about these guys here, pads. Oh my gosh, it just comes so quick, right? But hopefully it only lasts like a week. So yeah, so you'll definitely have to have those. So I'm just gonna pack like two basic black ones or you can need to go to Walmart and buy like a bunch so you can just throw away afterwards. So I'm just gonna use these. And along with that, I've gotten my, my nursing bra. It's kind of like a sports bra type, but it has a little bit of padding, not too much. There's no underwire and it has the clip to fold down. So I got this in black and gray. That's perfect. And I've been looking at lower for this because it's not that easy. Either that or they're too big. Okay, so while you're also in the hospital, you don't want to be completely bored. So maybe bring a magazine or a book. But for me, I'll probably just bring my laptop just in case I want to look at things or work on something. Who knows? I have no idea. I'm probably preparing myself way too much. But it's better to be safe than sorry because you'll be sitting there by yourself. And I'm sure Kevin will want to walk around or something or get some air. <laughs> And I'll be all alone in the room. <laughs> but yeah, so a laptop with your charger, of course, and charger for your cell phone because that will probably be the only thing um, I'll be able to really go on without having to move too much. So think about that or a book. Along with the pads, I've also decided to bring a couple of diapers for an get. Even the hospital will probably give us like one or two, but it's just always kind of good to bring your own just in case because they may be not, you know, pee or poop or whichever but it's always good to kind of have your own so with that Nagi will have a hospital like a going away hospital outfit but it's matching with me and Kev so we can't show it to you guys it's a surprise but it's gonna be really cute so all three of us will be matching and coming up the hospital looking like a real family with that that's all the stuff for me so for your partner now you can I guess you know bring some stuff for them so for Kev I guess I'll like pack some pajamas for him or just a t-shirt what do you guys think? I don't know. Or just nothing. Okay, so for Kev, I've just packed some pajama pants and a new t-shirt for him. So depending when this all goes down, depending what time it is and whatever he has on, he'll most likely stay in that for a bit. And then, you know, if we sleep over, if it's nighttime, he has something to change into. And then we'll have our going home outfit. Come in here talking about what you need. How about what, what I need, huh? I got you pajamas. That's not enough. And you can have some of my snacks. No. No one wants your Dunkaroos. They're so good though. <laughs> I want your foolishness. You're gonna want them because guaranteed you'll be the first one snacking on my stuff. What is that? It's what I need. Where is that going? Why do you need right that? Here. Right here in the pocket. 
because it's gonna be a stressful day so you know I'm gonna put it right there in the pocket and we're good you're just gonna drink that straight with the ice chips or you can use my little juice box that you're trying to hit on yeah we'll, we'll see what happens I mean Every man needs his own little thing, you know? So if I magically forget that, then what's gonna happen? I pay for parking, so I can leave and go as I please. Wow, so you're <laughs> just gonna leave us there? <laughs> Gems, please, talk to this man. Honestly. Don't. Yes, talk to you. <laughs> you're crazy. I'm trying to have all cute stuff and here you come with your personal things. Personal, it's a man thing. I mean, I guess it's all right to have, but like, you're gonna just use my juice box to mix it. I know. Yeah, you know. <laughs> my juice. I won't box. drink all of it, but it's like a little same thing as like a little flask, you know, just a little. So are you gonna have that during while I'm like, you know, being upset with you, squeezing your hand, or is yeah, this for to like numb after? The pain, to numb the psychological pain. Wow, <laughs> your psychological. Pain. You have no idea what I'm gonna go through, and I have nothing. I'm trying to do it with nothing, and here you are, numbing your pain. We all know that's not going to last. You don't think so? Thanks for having the confidence <laughs> in me. And 20 minutes into me, you're going to be like, Oh my God. Give it to me. Give it Gems, to me, doctor. No, comment below if you think I can do it natural, okay? Give I it can do me, it. Doctor. It's Give a it mindset. Be quiet. Give no. It. Listen, <laughs> what I'm going to do is go in there as if, you know, we're in a country where None of this stuff is available. Or way back when, when this stuff was never even invented. That's what I have to do. So it's way a back when, when you weren't even born. Exactly. So it's a mindset. <laughs> so way if back I when, go, I want to be like if someone If I go that in there <laughs> with that mentality, then I'll be fine. I'm not going to be like, give it to me. No, Kevin. I already told See, the midwife. So even if I there. ask two, so three you're gonna times, go in don't there with give the it to me. You're going to go in there with the mentality that. You haven't, been born, that you haven't been born yet? No, that there's nothing available for me to get through this. Why it's a mindset. Because I'm trying to be all natural. I don't want to use any of the stuff that they have available. I oh, really? You're Miss Natural all of a sudden. So why don't you go in with the mentality that you have to grow your own crops and grow your own fruit? Okay. Why are you going to the grocery store? Okay, natural in a sense. Like, come on. I don't want any of the <laughs> side effects from any of those things. Is that okay? You act like, like, like as well, if you have day. to deal with the side effects. I do, not you. So you think that pregnancy has, not, has no effect on a man whatsoever? I'm not saying it doesn't, but it's nothing okay. that you can take for it. I just showed you. <laughs> exactly, that's different. This, with this epidural, the laughing gas, with the morphine, like, I would rather not. So I'm trying my very best. It's only if, knock on wood, there's a complication or something that I have to do with, then okay. Then that's, that's beyond my control. What? You're not even listening. I guess you. you just think I'm just gonna be pathetic and just give no, in. No, that's your own. That's you your just own. said that. I think your boots are kind of pathetic, but you know. Anyways, she did <laughs> say that, Jamie. He just says, oh, I'm gonna be like, ooh, give it to me. No. Like, thanks a lot. See, now I just know that you just think I'm just gonna give in. No, I'll be there to support you. Right. Meanwhile, you're like, yeah, I'm just waiting for her to be like, give me the drugs. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with taking the drug. That's why it's of there. Of course not, but I do not want to. But thank you for supporting me, saying that I can do it without. I did. No, you didn't. <laughs> I said you can do it without for a bit. Anywho, no, but that's fine. I'll get through it. Because you have to go in and think it's a mental thing, okay? And it's temporary. It only lasts for so long. The beginning is the worst. Yes, it gets worse, the pain gets worse, but it's very short term, and then at the end, you get a surprise gift. <laughs> okay. Can't. I think you can do it. Yeah, it looks like I'll have to have my own cheerleading team. Hmm. You will. I'm there. Right. After you're just going to be sitting back in the corner waiting for me, you'll be seeing me. If I start crying, you'll be like, oh yeah, just waiting. It's childbirth. It's not like your nail situation the other day. <laughs> Well, you cried and then tried I to didn't hide it. cry. <laughs> Shut up. I'm not talking to you. I didn't cry. I'm so stupid. Anyways, like, shush. I we're done the video. We're done. I the video's you, over. Your eyes are red. <laughs> no. And I'm like, no, I wasn't. What? The video's over. I'm cutting this out.
<laughs> You're so stupid. Get away from me. Anyways, the video's yeah, done. I'm Quiet. Dying. No. So I hope you guys enjoyed the what is going to be in my hospital bag. And I hope you guys stay tuned for the rest of the journey. We are almost there, guys. We are in the home stretch. So you guys can comment below. You can guys even suggest me a couple of things if you want that you saw that I didn't have. Oh, yeah. And I'm going to have nursing pads. I just thought about that, too. I don't have it yet, but I'm going to get them. So, yeah. So thank you guys for watching, liking, and subscribing. And until the next video, we will see you later. Epidural. Gosh. You're the worst. Huh? You're the worst. <laughs> Don't touch me.